Hey guys, Peter, and in this video we're going over some of the 2019 Mr. Olympia footage and we are actually comparing Brandon Curry versus Hadi Chopin right now in this video. And there were many many people in my comment section at least who were saying that Hadi was robbed not only of second place of a runner-up position at the Mr. Olympia but actually of winning the Sando. Some people had Hadi beating Brandon Curry. Those same people say that Hadi didn't win the Mr. Olympia because of the politics. Is it because he doesn't speak English? Or is it because he is from Iran? Or is it maybe because he is competing at the Mr. Olympia for the first time in his life? And winning the Mr. Olympia at your first Mr. Olympia would be a little bit too much, which would suck if it was true, because the best man should win. But let's go over the footage, let's compare them pose for pose. Let's see who wins more poses. Let's analyze their physiques and in my prediction videos, before the Mr. Olympia started, I had Hari Chopin in top 4. I was pretty sure that he's gonna crack the top 4. And I was assuming that Rolly Winkler will come on, so I thought that Hari might be 4th place. I was pretty sure that Dexter won't beat him, but I didn't know about Rolly, Brandon or William. I said that any of these guys can win the Mr. Olympia and it actually was very close. Now Rolly was off with conditioning. There is a rumor that Rolly had a hamstring injury, maybe that's the reason why, but who cares, he wasn't on and that's all that matters. But in the top three, you had these three guys, and any one of them could have won. They both had their strengths and their weaknesses, and now we're gonna analyze them, now we're gonna see what are those exactly. So let's go, let's start with this front leg pose, and now we're looking at only Brandon and Hadi. In my previous video, I compared Hadi versus Bonek, and in my opinion, Hadi was robbed. So I do think that Hadi deserves second place. I do think he was better than Bonek. But was he better than Brandon? Now let's compare them and let's see that. So if you take a look at their legs, no, no talk needed, really. It's absolutely obvious that Hadi is much, much better in legs. Almost nobody has better quads than Hadi. His quads are really top-notch, really high-quality quads. But if you look at their upper bodies, First thing that you can notice is that uh, Brandon has much better arms. And not only arms, but his waist is much smaller. So structurally, Brandon is ahead here. And because of those arms, and his chest also seems fuller. So it's upper body versus lower body. But if you take um, structure, basically the silhouette, into consideration, then you must give it to Brandon. So it's close this one because of how his legs but I would give it to Brandon because of his silhouette, because of the contour of his body. It really creates a beautiful contour, a beautiful structure, a silhouette, and that should be rewarded. Head to toe, I mean, his legs are not so conditioned, but as far as silhouette, they're on point. They're big enough. Even though Hadi is more conditioned and has better legs and abs, I would still give it to Brandon, this one. Legs are definitely very important, but they're not all. Now we come to a real pose, and that's gonna be front double bicep. So right here I'm in horrible, horrible camera angles, but I think we're gonna catch them both in one frame. So let's see, let's compare them. Well, you cannot see the legs, and you know that Hadi has better legs. But again, even though legs are very, very important, they're not more important than anything. Everything is important. And here you can notice that Brandon has much, much smaller and tighter waist, better contour, better silhouette, the lats are popping more, the arms are just much bigger and fuller, the whole physique just flows much better in the front double bicep, look at this, look at the symmetry, really, really dominant front double bicep, I give this one to Brandon, no doubt. This Mr. Olympia overall wasn't very good, it wasn't very high quality because of the lack of the competitors, of the top competitors, but it was very interesting, it was very, very interesting, because each one of these guys could have won, but I was pretty sure that Brandon is gonna win it. And now we come to the front lat spread, and so what do we see here? So once again, Hari has better quads. But is that enough to win a pose? No, I don't think so. So the next thing that you must notice is a better, or actually smaller, tighter waist on Brandon. I also wanted to add that Hari has better calves, if that matters at all. It probably doesn't that much, but sure, a little bit. Brandon does have great lats, I know he's very wide, but he hits this pose in this way. And this is kind of the way that Ronnie Coleman did it back in the day. 
he's pushing his arms forward, his elbows, because he wants to show more of his shoulders and his arms and his forearms than he wants to show his lats. Is this better way of hitting the pose? Well, I personally do not prefer it. I would rather have him having his chest relaxed and his rib cage expanded than pushing his elbows forward and flexing his chest and shoulders. I just don't prefer this way of hitting a pose. But if you compare his upper body to Hadi's, I mean, it's night and day difference, honestly. Hadi looks skin next to him. Hadi's arms and forearms just look much, much smaller. His chest doesn't look that full. His uh, waist is not that small. And it doesn't create that great illusion of an amazing silhouette. So once again, I have to give this one to Brandon as well. Even though his legs are much less conditioned and smaller, less developed than, than Hadi's. Yeah. But still, I think Brandon is winning this one. And so we proceed to the next pose and they're gonna do the side poses. Now, Brandon's lack of leg mass is visible only in the front and the back poses. It's absolutely not visible, not even slightly, in these side poses, especially in the side chest. Again, Hadi is very, very good, especially in this pose. Hadi is very good in a side chest pose, but standing next to Brandon, no way, no way. His arms are definitely not as big as Brandon's, and they are even smoother. Brandon has bigger and fuller arms, and they are actually more conditioned. Is that because of the Sintel? I don't know, maybe. But uh, as far as chest, Hadi had much more straight and much more defined chest at the Vancouver Pro. Maybe it was just lighting, but if that was better physique, would that be enough to win the Mr. Olympia? Well, we'll never know, I guess, but uh, as far as this pose right here, I mean, you cannot give it to Hadi against Brandon. Brandon is just much bigger, much fuller. He has better, I mean, bigger frame and um, better silhouette once again, better shape. Uh, legs look bigger here, actually. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but his legs definitely do look bigger. His arms look fuller. His shoulders are popping more. His chest is fuller and bigger. Everything is just better on Brandon. I give this one to Brandon, of course. Also, Brandon is a little bit taller, so his frame is bigger. But I do like this, this physique of Brandon Curry. I'm wondering, is it better than Sean Roden's physique? Well, maybe that's a topic for another video. If you guys show interest, I may even make that video. But right off the bat, right now, without analyzing too much, I do prefer this physique. I like it more. I'm more impressed with it. I mean, sure, Sean was awesome. Sean was great in 2018 Mr. Olympia. But he didn't have too many super impressive body parts like Brandon here does. So let's go with the back double bicep and let's compare these two competitors in this pose right here. Very important pose right now. So right here, it is probably the most visible how small Brandon's legs are. And especially if you compare them to Williams, glutes and hamstrings and quad sweep as well. Brandon's legs are just much smaller, even compared to his upper body. They look definitely much smaller. So some bodybuilders, some bodybuilding experts call this asymmetry. I don't know should it be called asymmetry because symmetry is two opposite sides looking exactly alike, but not this. I mean, this should be proportions, but whatever. Maybe in bodybuilding terms, it's different. Anyways, uh, Hadi's lower body much better. Look at the quad sweep, especially on his left leg. Look at how much, how much is it popping? Much better than Brandon's legs. And also the hamstrings and especially the glutes. Much bigger, much harder. But then you go to their backs and uh, you can just notice that Brandon's lats underneath his shoulders look much more prominent. Hadi has bigger shoulders probably, but that's about it as far as their upper bodies. As far as the back itself, Brandon's back is much more, much meatier, if that's even a word, <laughs> more meaty. And Brandon's waist is definitely much smaller which makes better illusion. Arms really don't seem small on Hadi's physique, but it seems like Hadi is standing closer to the camera. He's stepped over the line a little bit, which doesn't really matter. I mean, you do what you do. I mean, in war, there are no rules. But <laughs> if judges caught this, they would probably tell him to go a little bit forward. But anyways, because of the contour, because of the shape, the overall balance, the small waist, and the, this a beautiful wee taper, I would go with Brandon once again. And also because of the super developed uh, back itself. 
for sure. Now we come to another back pose, and this is back uh, lat spread actually, this time around. And this is the first pose that I'm going to give to Hari. He's definitely beating everybody in this lineup. So first of all, legs once again much better, but legs only is not enough. I mean, legs are important, as I said before, very, very important. It's a huge body part, but it's not like Brandon has no legs. His legs are much smaller, but they are still there. And uh, if you compare their backs right now, Hadi's back definitely looks much thicker. Through the mid part, through the lats, shoulders also, everything, it's more defined, it's bigger, it's wider. I give this pose to Hadi without even questioning it anymore. It's definitely obvious, Hadi is definitely the best here in the back lat spread. And uh, now we're gonna proceed to the side tricep. And I have no idea what this cameraman was thinking. How was he comparing these bodybuilders? Why can't we see them all three in one frame for a moment? I don't know, I don't know, but uh, we cannot see them uh, both doing side tricep in one shot. You can see them from this angle, but that doesn't really matter much. So we're gonna just skip side tricep, even though I will give it to Brandon, definitely, because uh, you know, from the sides, Brandon's legs are not a problem and everything else on his upper body is better than Hadi's. And now we come to the abs and thighs, and it is abs and thighs. If we're talking about thighs, Hadi has better thighs, and he has more developed abs, but he doesn't have the structure, he doesn't have that small, tiny, tight waist like Brandon, and his lats are not popping as much, nor are his arms. So again, because of the structure, I mean, I just cannot ignore it. When I take a look at these two physiques, I just find Brandon's physique more impressive. What about you? Well, I give this pose to Brandon, not to Hadi. But guys, imagine that Hadi stayed home, that he didn't get the visa. This show would be... <laughs> who would be in the top three? Would there even be a top three? It would probably just be Arnold Classic repeat. He would probably compare just uh, Brandon Curry and William Bonek. I don't think they would throw Dexter in, because everybody knows Dexter cannot beat these guys. But Hadi had a chance. Hadi definitely had a legitimate chance. And we are finishing this video off with the most muscular, which is the last pose. And you can go either way with this one. I think both Brandon and Hadi are looking very dominant and very impressive in this pose. So once again, this was a very close show. But if you ask me, I had Brandon winning it from the pre-judging. It was pretty obvious to me. I didn't really doubt it much. I wasn't surprised when he won it. And uh, those people who think Hadi deserved the victory don't really know what they're talking about. I'm sorry guys, but that's my opinion. Legs and conditioning is not everything. You need to have the most complete package. No bodybuilder ever was complete, but I guess Phil Heath came closest to it. Ronnie Coleman had a couple of very freaky body parts, not just a couple, a lot of them. Jay Cutler also was very close to that perfection, but nobody really reached it, nobody ever will. Brandon Curry definitely didn't do it, definitely didn't come even close to it, neither these two other guys or anybody in this Mr. Olympia lineup, but if we're talking about strictly Hadi Chopin versus Brandon Curry, I do have Brandon Curry winning it because he won the majority of the poses. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, however, like it, and if you want to say something to me unrelated to this video or you want to make a video comment, just Tell me down below in the comment section. Thank you very much guys for watching and for all the support. All the best. Bye bye.